Oh, why are you all looking so sad, guys? And you're even crying. Oh yeah, it's our last day here, everybody. I know, but hey, don't worry, because we still have loads of highlights to come. It's day three of the BT Young Scientist. So much happening here at the RT stand all day, and this morning, Mary McCallaghan popped by. I love it. I come every year and I chat to all the school children and I love it more every year. It's just so inspirational and they have so many ideas and they're such fun and they're so interesting and makes me feel we have a great future in this country with all these amazing young people. So what happens here in this studio? Well, sometimes they interview me, which is very interesting and I, I lapse into being a politician and don't answer the question directly. But a lot of the time I talk to them about where they're from, what they like here, and we do selfies and we just have a good time. Can you think of any strange question they've asked you or any curveball they've thrown at you? Yeah, they all, they're remarkably. There was an eight-year-old last year who said, who's the most difficult politician you've ever interviewed? I thought that was fascinating. And he was eight and he watches prime time. Seriously worrying, I know. <laughs> I was scared of dentists and the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations on. Today I'm broadcasting here from 1 o'clock till 2 o'clock, so uh, loads of music. We're going to be talking to uh, a couple of people who picked up prizes yesterday. Now, Stephen, you do... Sorry, wrong mic. You do a lot of work in TV as well as radio. <laughs> that worked better in rehearsal. <laughs> Which one do you prefer, TV or radio? I just prefer them for different reasons. Usually I prefer radio because I can come in at 7 o'clock in the morning looking awful, uh, but that is obviously not the case today because everybody can watch you. So Stephen, I'm looking at your satellite clock. You are one minute to wear. You better sit down. Oh. Look who I found, it's Ruben the Messer. Uh -huh, that's me, that's officially my name, Ruben the Messer. It's on his email signature. Mr. the Messer to people who don't know me. <laughs> now Ruben, you have brought your family and extended family here with yes. you today. Introduce me to everyone, give me their names. These are all, these are all my brothers and sisters here. Uh, there's a Declan, Tadelma, uh, Susan, Julian, George. And to add a bit of last proceedings, it's the RT Contempo Quartet. Are you guys into science anyway? Like, would you like to work in science when you're older? Yeah, I don't mind. Like, I don't, when I'm in class there now, I like the dissections part. You like the dissections? Why is that? Ah, uh, interesting for me. Like, you know, guts come out like straight away. Like, you're not prepared. <laughs> This, this is my first time being here and I'll never forget it, it's absolutely brilliant. Just everything, there's like a load of interest and stuff and it's really good. People should get more involved in science. Amazing. Amazing? What makes it so amazing? Just everything that's in it is really good. I really like the RTE stand. Why? Uh, <laughs> Are you saying that now because you're on RTE? No, I actually really do like it. Light and day is more than you'll say. Well, there you go, that is it. That just about wraps things up here at the BT Young Scientist. I know, but hey, don't forget, you can watch all of the videos back on the RT Player and RT YouTube. But for just now, it's goodbye from the RDS. Yeah!